Hello, everybody. I, uh, I'm waiting for my computer to finish updating, because I was dumb and let it update, and, uh, so I thought, why not film a vlog? Because I totally haven't done any of those any time recently. I haven't done the Cleo vs. the World account, though. I bet you thought I forgot all about that account. Well, I kind of did, but, um... Anyway, um, I have a bunch of ideas for videos. I've been amassing ideas, like cray cray, for some reason, uh, lately my mind has been a font of ideas and it hasn't moved from 9% in like 10 minutes, I think my computer's dumb, uh, well we, we know it's dumb, but I think it's, it's crossed into ultimate dumb dumb, dumb dumb, 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 <laughs> I made it funny, that's only funny to me, anyway, uh, I, uh, Yes, and I've been writing them all down. Don't worry, I've got I've got lists all over my phone of the various ideas I've got, and some are more fleshed out than others. Um, a lot of them are skits, comedy skits or whatever. And uh, when I was writing them originally, I was thinking of doing them all by myself. But some of them, I've actually thought, hey, why not use them as an opportunity to collaborate with other people? So I only have been doing this the last couple of days, but I've actually been kind of branching out to some other channels. No, none of the huge ones, because I like to not totally waste my time emailing people. They're never going to email, email me back. But uh, anyway, uh, trying to find people to collaborate with. And uh, so far, I've actually got a couple of responses, um, including some channels that are slightly bigger than mine, that um, I... Either, well, actually, one of them I'd been following for a while, and I totally didn't expect her to respond, and she did, and I was like, oh. but uh, I don't want to say who it is until I know for sure if she's going to be in the video, because I don't want to get your hopes hopeses and dreams is up and then have her not deliver, but uh, yeah, there's there's been a couple, and there's actually this uh, actress, too, who I met at Kamikaze, who said she was interested, but we'll have to see if anything comes of it. Um, yeah, my computer's dumb. Uh, I... Anyway, yeah, so that's happening. Um, I already actually wrote up scripts for a bunch of them, and I haven't really edited the scripts yet, but that's what I've been doing on my lunch breaks at work, is uh, just writing scripts, which is kind of hard, because my coworkers don't really, uh, like, all, all our lunch breaks are at different times, just basically whenever we feel like it, um, and they tend to have conversations in the room behind me as I'm trying to write the scripts, and uh, it can be a little, little vexing, a little distracting when I'm trying to write, but that's all right. Um... But, of course, the problem that I, I always harp on is that by the time I get home, I'm kind of out of energy. Um, I've been trying to find ways to get myself re-energized. I found that watching other people's videos tends to give me some energy and tends to make me go, Oh, I want to make videos! But, of course, every minute I spend watching someone else's video is a minute I can't spend filming my own. Uh, and then we have problems like this! Still 9%! Still 9%! Uh, um... But I'm gonna I'm gonna rise above it and do it anyway. Uh, what else is new? I mean, I've already covered most of this in the vlogs I've been putting on Games for Fight. I know I've been putting more vloggy type stuff on there, um, not here because I want people to hear it, and I feel like if I put it on here, nobody's gonna hear it. But it's all right. Um, I've been watching a lot of other YouTubers as well, um, that's one thing that's nice about my work because I think they feel guilty that they don't pay me as much as they should, so they kind of let me watch YouTubes while I'm working. I mean, I've never actually asked, but they've come in and seen me doing it and they've never said anything, so it's just sort of this don't ask, don't tell policy, I guess. Um, because I do, I do work, I do get lots of work done, it's just a lot of the work I'm doing is, is mindless, you know cleaning up photos and whatnot. I mean, for them it would take effort, but for me, I've done it for so many years that I'm just like, well, whatever. But anyway, so I've been using it as an opportunity to look at other YouTubers uh, who I've never heard of before, and I've just kind of been really arbitrarily finding channels. Um, sometimes I'll search for a term, and I'll just watch you know, what comes up until I find a channel that interests me. Um, like I looked up Girl Gamer and I actually found a couple of interesting channels that way. I also found some uh, channels that kind of bothered me because it was like, wow, you are completely playing into the attention horror st stereotype and you are getting super famous and I am I'm, I'm jealous. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw that out there. But no, I found some good channels and uh, maybe one of these days I'll, I'll organize a list and tell you about all these other channels. Um, some of those channels are the ones I've been reaching out for as far as collaborating with. I've been like, hey, you got a channel, I got a channel, let's collaborate. Because I mean, one of the big problems with collaboration for people that that 
for when you guys, not that anyone's ever going to watch this video, but for you guys asking me to collaborate, is that a lot of times, and I don't understand why you do this, you'll, you'll say like, hey, let's collaborate, but you don't have a microphone, and you don't have a video camera, or anything like that, and it's like, how are we supposed to collaborate if you don't have any way of recording yourself? Or you have like really bad equipment and you know, I know you can only do what you can only do what you can, but no. <laughs> if if you want to collaborate, you you got to you got to invest in in at least somewhat decent, you know, I mean like my equipment is not very good either, but my equipment at least is a step up above like a $7 mic that you found in a, you know, Goodwill. But anyway, uh, so that's, 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 that's my advice to you, is if you want to collaborate with people, make sure you have decent equipment. Otherwise, how are they supposed to collaborate with you? Come on. Um, I'm also, I'm actually not wearing them right now, because I just got out of the shower and my hair is wet, and I don't like wearing, I don't like wearing my glasses ever, but, uh, I'm not wearing them at this moment, because my hair is wet, but you guys keep, I, I've been wearing them in my videos lately, because I have to wear them before I can get LASIK, and a lot of you guys are like, Oh wow, Cleo, you look so good in them. You should always wear them. Um, I've actually become okay with the way I look in glasses. Like, the last couple of years, actually, it's funny because when I switched to contacts about three years ago, um, glasses were, you know, nobody liked glasses. Uh, now they're all thanks to the hipsters and everything. Oh, it jumped up to 11%. Oh! Anyway, now because of the hipsters and the nerd girls and everything, people are okay with glasses. But my big issue with the glasses, besides the fact that these are three years out of three or four years out of date and give me a headache when I wear them, um, and they pinch my nose and leave marks, like you can't tell because I, again, just got out of the shower, but um, like when I wear it at work all day, I have these like red marks right there from where it rests on my nose all day. Um, <coughs> still getting over my cold. My big issue is that I, believe it or not, have OCD. And um, it's not as bad as it used to be. I've never gotten medicated for it. Um, the only medication I've ever taken was for depression, and I was only on it for a couple of weeks. Oh, my computer just restarted itself at 11%. What are you doing, Compi? I was live streaming last night, and I got a, a blue screen of death in the middle of Civ 5, which is funny because it's like the first time I played Civ 5. I didn't realize you couldn't save the tutorial level, so there went that four hours. And then when I was live streaming, I completely forgot to save, so when I blue screened, I um, lost all that progress, but I hadn't really done that much. I, I jumped around a lot last night when I did the live stream, because I was like, I'm bored of this game, I'm bored of this game, I'm bored of this game. Um, I actually enjoyed playing Long Live the Queen for a little bit, mostly because it's a visual novel type-esque thing, which means I get to do character voices, which if you hadn't noticed is something I really like. I have no training at all in voice acting um, and I know like everybody and their dog wants to be a voice actor and it's not really something I'm pursuing actively it's just you know something I like to do in my videos and whatnot and actually today I was watching a bunch of videos okay so now it says 30% complete I don't know what it's doing uh, I was watching some videos today that were kind of tutorials on voice acting and actually most of them were by guys for guys so a lot of what they said wasn't necessarily applicable to me, but it was still interesting, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll work on that sometime when I feel inspired. I was going to say when I have time, it's like, I'll never have time. Uh, where was I going with? I don't know. Whatever. I'm just talking whatever, because this is it. probably no one's ever going to watch. Ah, oh my god. Um, but the video, so okay, these are the three video ideas I had today, and I don't know which ones I'm going to be able to make in, in uh, what time. Um, actually, two video ideas. One of the third one is a game review that I was hired to make, and I need to make it. It's due like Monday, and I've been putting it off and putting it off because the server for downloading the game has not been working and whatever. It's actually um, it's actually a game I already reviewed, but they hired me to make some more videos of it, so I'm gonna do some let's plays. And as far as being hired to do videos for games, yeah, I'm not really supposed to say anything bad about the game because it's a sponsored video. But these are actually fun games. I just, you know, try to find something nice to say about them. Which I'm actually more inclined to do anyway, just because I try to look... When I review things, I try to look at it from the review of the people who made it. And even if it's not the greatest thing in the world, you know, it takes a lot of effort and, and intelligence and whatever to make anything. Um, like I was on Octopimp's channel, I think it was. No, it was somebody else's channel. Jazzer Studios, I think. And um, it, it, he had made a... Uh, nine and a half minute long um, 
it's letting me log in now. Hooray! Do you like my symbol? Do you know who it is? It's from Tales of the Abyss, which I found out is available uh, on 3DS, which I need to get eventually. Um, but I, I opted to get Bravely Default instead, which I've been playing a fair amount of. I didn't play it last night because I was tired. But anyway, just changing subject. Yeah, so I was watching this uh, uh, animation, and I mean, it was kind of weird and whatever, but he did all the voices, and I guess he did all the animation because he didn't list anybody in the credits um, besides himself. And the very top comment was, wow, another stupid animation unsubscribed. Okay, I have done like 30 second animations before, and even like a 30 second animation takes hours and hours and hours to make. I can't imagine how much work goes into a nine and a half minute animation that he did all by himself, I'm assuming. Even if he didn't, you know, that's still a lot of work. And all the voice acting and all the drawing and everything like that. And it just blows my mind, you know, haters on YouTube. It takes you like half a second to type out, wow, this sucks, when that person spent so much time making that, you know? But, I mean, haters don't really care about that kind of stuff anyway. They're, they're only interested in furthering their own, their own opinions, getting on their own soapbox. Um, but, yeah, so voice acting. I guess I'll, I'll play around with that at some point because that's... I like doing that. You're not supposed to do dating sims on Twitch, but I don't think there's any rules about it on YouTube as long as you don't show any nudity. Um, and there are some pretty interesting uh, dating sims out there, like... Dramatical Murder, which has, I don't know, it's not even really a game, it's mostly just reading, but stuff like that. And I think it'd be really fun to do a voice acting thing of that. But I'd probably have to break it up quite a bit or take breaks while recording it because <clears throat> my throat gets really tired if I'm if I'm talking nonstop. Um, and especially if I'm doing voices, character voices. So, yeah. But that'd be fun. You know, it's just, mm, it's... Ugh. This is what I feel like right now. Because I have so many ideas. <laughs> so many ideas. So much inspiration right now. And yet no time. No time and by the time I get home, you know, it seems like it's light now, but if I were to get in my car and go drive to a location and try to get set up and everything, by the time I was set up to film anything, it'd be dark. Um, because even in the middle of summer, you know, I only have like an hour, uh, after getting out of work before it's dark, and it just sucks. So I'm actually considering asking my boss, um, if I can start taking, like, I don't know if I want to ask him if I can take Fridays off, or if I can, like, just have half days a couple times a week, just because it sucks that, like, it's always the last couple hours at work that are the worst because it's like after lunch and I've usually worked on a script and I've got all these ideas and you know I've been listening to the YouTube videos so I'm like oh god I want to go film videos but I'm stuck here for another three hours interminable three hours that take forever to pass and it's just oh it's just so frustrating it's just so frustrating and I look back at my life because you know I'm almost 30 and it's just like what could I have done differently so that I wasn't in the position I am now? I mean, I'm grateful to have a job, I'm grateful to have a place to sleep at night and everything like that, but I am not doing what I want to do with my life right now. I want to create. I want to be an artist, I want to be an actor, I want to be a video creator, and I know I sound like a spoiled white girl right now, but those are my hopes and dreams, okay? Don't shit on my hopes and dreams, please. Um, and so I just gotta, I just gotta stay hopeful, I just gotta somehow stay hopeful. Um, you know, I'm going to WonderCon with my friends. I bought my ticket to VidCon. I don't have a hotel or anything yet, but I figure it's the end of June, so I'll probably figure something out by then. I don't know. Um, and, uh, GamerCon, of course, too, the same time as Comic-Con. That, you know, was a given, because it's right here in San Diego, and I'm friends with the creators, so I can just be like, hey, I'm coming! And actually, I'm gonna be working with them to try to get the word out. Um, I told them today, like, they should contact Toby and try to get him to do a Toby Games Live at GamerCon. And even if they can't get Toby interested, because, you know, Toby never replies to emails, um, they might want to set something up like that and just do it with smaller channels, and maybe that'd be fun, you know, including me. But, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go record a video now about how not to be popular on YouTube. Hopefully it doesn't turn out totally catastrophic, but if it does, it's okay, because... Better to try and fail than never try at all. Isn't that what they say? Bye-bye.